That right there is the uh, location of a water elemental that you can fight. It's not too tough. If we were all full health, you could probably take it. Let us be careful. Something here. Stuff. I believe I've done, done something. Nice. There's actually a hard lock. 27, and we got it. Heck yeah. Lightly. Okay. We got another ring here. You have one. Give it to you. Yeah, give it to the people who are gonna be in my party the whole time. Like you two. The corpse's face is bloated from being so long in the water. The stench from its toothless mouth is so foul that your eyes begin to water. The hand clenching a sinister looking spear is covered with scabs. Suddenly you feel faint, as if a cold wet hand is placed heavy on top of your head. Wet hair sticks to skin and trickles of icy cold water runs down your face and shirt. A hoarse whisper rises, rises inside your head. There you are. I sense evil, but not evil committed by this poor soul. No, he arose on account of some evil done to him. So it was you who sent me those nightmares. Gurgling, deep-chested laughter pierces your skull, clouding your vision and flooding your ears. All else becomes muffled, as if you are trapped underwater. You shake your head to cast off the apparition. Who are you? Davik Nettle. Davik Nettle. Nettle, whatever. A storm of bright images flashes before your eyes. A long time ago, this person, then a living man, came here from Bavoy, constructed a rope bridge, built a house, and lived in it, collecting payment from those who crossed the river. How did you die? You see a vision of a lovely spring day. Sunbeams shine warm against your cheeks. Three men approach the house by the bridge, one of them wearing an antlered helm. The stag lord. Angry faces, a quarrel, the glint of an unsheathed sword, Suddenly, the Staglord's greedy eyes are twisted by surprise. The master of the house has unleashed his hounds. A burning smell stirs you awake to the sound of loud barking. Flames are crawling up the walls, the sound of breaking glass, the bitter cold night air. You are outside, outside the house, and something is wrong. An arrow strikes deep in your shoulder. You hear the guffaw of ten throats. You run, already in the middle of the bridge. The man in the antlered helm cuts one of the ropes. An ear-splitting scream fills the air. What do you want from me? You see a vision of a man wearing an antlered helm. You hear a muffled groan. The helm drops to the ground with a loud thud. Your hands are covered with hot blood. Too much blood. Death to the stag lord. Why must I be the one who does it? You feel invisible fingers, cold as stone, draw aside a wet strand of hair from your forehead. Very well, I shall meet your vengeance upon the stack board. The drow man, who'd been sitting motionless, nods his head. Come later, take the spear. The path is good. We're already gonna do it anyway, right? Might as well. <laughs> now there are, so here's the deal. There are companions who will have dialogue to chime in at certain times. Um, Ragongar and Lindsay both could have said something during that conversation like Tristian did, and so could have Octavia, but we didn't bring them. So you kind of got to pick and choose who you want to bring where for certain content. You just kind of kind of like figure out yourself what you want to do with that. Um, I do have two mercenary characters, which means that's two less story characters that I can bring with me because I do want to play with them. Um, but I'm doing it for my own RP reasons. 
usually I don't recommend mercenary characters because they just don't offer of much value other than having classes that you for sure want to play. Um, I just think it's a cool like group of three that came from Axis Moon Deep, the organization, to like deal with all the space and time stuff. So, but normally I would just bring all story characters. So there's gonna be some dialogue stuff we end up missing because I'm not bringing a ton. But I mean, I've still got like three with me, which is a good amount in my opinion. My instincts dull when I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go sell stuff. Aha! Not right now. If you're wondering what uses evade in those situations, I thought it was a stealth skill, but it's actually your nature skill that helps with the evasion. So if you have no one with good nature, you can like never evade any of those fights. Gotta make sure you got it. I'll go ahead. He'll go ahead. Oh. Greetings. In this dark hour, I had not even dreamed of encountering someone in these lands who would stand against the one who blights me. But you appeared, and you brought hope along with you. With the strength of the fog fading, I am able to show you the way to the Stag Lord's fortress. Please. Go there, slay our enemy before he can strike another blow. Will you help me in the battle? I cannot. My power is barely enough to make a slight tear through the veil of fog. Keeping the way open to you is all I can do to help. What happens after I defeat the Stag Lord? Will I ever see you again? And you would... would like to see me again? Then yes, of course. I'll come to you once the Tormentor is gone for good. I really hope to have a chance to show you the true beauty of these lands. The meadows, the flowers. I'll set off to the Stag Lord's Fortress as soon as I am ready. Should you lose, my heart will stop with yours. But should you win, the sun shall rise once more over these lands. In its rays, in the ring dance of blooming life, we shall meet again. I leave you a small gift, a token of hope and the reward that awaits you after all of these hardships. Farewell, no, take care. We got this necklace, it uh, plus two dodge bonus against ranged attacks, which is pretty cool. And give it to her. Good money. Let's level everyone else up. <laughs> Yay, bonus Eldritch Pool. Strength. Draconic Resistance. Blur, for sure. Blur is such a good spell. Such a good spell. And a mirror image, every mages should have these two. You become, like, a tank that just can't get hit. It's incredible. Really good spell. What do you need for a Deadeye Devotee? Oh, you can't. You're not lawful. Oh, crap. You can't do anything. Well, we're already this far into Inquisitor, so here we are. 
Stunning barrier. Mm. Howling agony. Weapon of Awe. Sure. Octavia, you are a wizard. More bonus spells. Two more. Man, I don't know. It's like. Perception's always nice. <laughs> Perception's always nice. Um. Fire shuriken. Stone call. Lindsay, you're a bard. We are gonna have you be an evocation. Yes. Okay, spell book. Be sure you have everything. Magic missiles for days. Why not? Okay. Rest up. Put this in there. We got lots of goodies in here. Still have some rations. So much weight, it's fine. Go tell Keston about Tartuccio. Keston, I failed to capture Tartuccio alive. He attacked me and was killed. Well, 
This is not the best outcome, but I think it will be good enough for Jamandi. Take this as a reward for your help. I'll send word to Restoff and let them consider how they might return the favor. Once again, I thank you for your help. I'll remain here until my men recover from their wounds. Meanwhile, we'll help guard the trading post and fight off any bandits should they return. Good luck in all your plans and endeavors. Solid team. Solid team. We've been doing good. Solid team. Alright. Let's go tackle some of these other places on the way. Get some XP if we can. A random encounter! Be victorious. Get him. Uh oh. Tear them apart. Attack. Cover me. So it's come to this. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, team. Yeah. 